As you grow up, you always dream of uh, racing in Spa. It's a mix of old school corners, dangerous and fast sections. Hi everyone, my name is Sebastian Buemi and I'm racing for Toyota Gazoo in the WEC Championship. And I'm here to take you turn by turn through Spa for Cochon. So basically here we are starting a lap of uh, spa from Gorchamp, getting into turn one, uh, Lasso's corner. This corner is very important just because uh, you have a long straight and the radion following. You make more lap time by making sure you get a good exit and you clip the apex and trying to dive in and carry a lot of speed. So the, the exit is really important. So yeah, you're going down to a rouge, you feel all the power from the car coming in. Au rouge, Redillon remains uh, still quite dangerous just because of the speed uh, you get there and, and the runoff is not, not very big. It really is the most dangerous section, definitely. The biggest thing is uh, what car you are driving around Spa. Uh, if you drive a Formula One car, it's like a straight line, you can basically do it flat. With the Toyota car, it's a corner. It's not easy just because you have nearly the speed of a Formula One car, but you have the weight and the downforce of a WEC car. And I think what makes it special is, in general, the elevation. It's like a big wall. You arrive there with a lot of speed, and at some point you you are blind. So all those small details makes it, uh, I would say, special. If you turn a tiny bit too late or too early, you can have a big crash. So. How you position the car going into the corner is very crucial, just because you cannot afford any mistakes if you want to stay flat and, and carry the speed. You need to touch the, the first apex a tiny bit, then you obviously try to, to be very smooth with the steering, and then you cut a little bit on, on the exit curb on top of Eau Rouge, uh, just to try to straight line as much as you can. We are going up the straight here. It's a pretty long straight. It's where we reached the highest speed in the LMP car, 315 pH. It's going uphill quite a lot. People don't really notice that on TV. And then you basically break at the start for this section, turn five, six, and seven. What you do uh, entering the section has a domino effect until you exit. If you, again, don't enter exactly with the right speed and the right line, you drift away in all corners. Positioning is, is very tricky and you, you need to make sure you, you prepare the exit of turn seven well, because then you have a long straight going into uh, turn eight. It's a pretty big, uh, big place where you can lose time. So basically we are approaching turn eight and here this turn eight is a pretty tricky one because you need to enter very early and you need to make sure you keep the inside as much as you can. Just otherwise you make too many meters, you drive too much you don't have enough time to prepare the next corner. You try to accelerate straight, and then you try to position directly the car for turn nine. Most likely, you're going to use all the exit curve out of turn nine, just to make sure you carry the speed out of that corner. So then we go down to uh, turn 10. It's one of the nicest corners of the track. It's Pouon. You basically arrive in sixth gear, and it's a very quick uh, left-hander. You try to keep the inside, and then you open a little bit, touch the outside curb, but not too much. If you touch it too much, you can drift completely out of the track. So it's really important there to turn at the right time and to have a lot of front end. Otherwise, you, you, you don't carry the speed. And then you basically arrive in one of the chicanes, 12-13. Again here, positioning is very important because you want to be very close to the inside curb, but not touch it too much, otherwise you upset the car and it's not, not very nice. This chicane is just about trying to keep the speed and not do uh, too many meters. And then we arrive in one of the most important corners, similar to La Source. This turn 14 is very important because the exit, once you go back on power there, you stay flat out until the last chicane. So this turn 14, you try to use all the outside curb. You try to be very smooth on the steering. You do turn 15 flat out, and then you stay flat. And you just try to, to focus on, on your upshift, make sure you don't 
upshift too early or too late. And now we are ready in, in Blanchimont. So Blanchimont is not really a corner anymore for us. Even on the wet, it's nearly flat. You just stay flat, try to not upset the car, carry the speed, and then focus to break into, into the last chicane. And then we arrive in the final section of the track, which is turn 18 and 19. Uh, not easy to brake, it's quite bumpy when you brake, and you try to slow down the cars as much as you can. It's quite narrow and quite tight, so you have to use first gear. And again here, the most important is to prepare uh, quite well, just to make sure you have a good exit, because here you feel all the electric power plus the combustion engine. So you have like 1,000 horsepower and it's very easy to lose traction. So you try to accelerate straight, not touch too much the curb, and then, and then that's it. Uh, we've done a lap of uh, Spa Francorchon. I think that Spa is a bit special for every driver. Today, on those new tracks, you have massive runoffs and it doesn't feel so natural where a Spa is flowing and it's fast and it's dangerous and it has all the things that you want to have to have such a great track. Hey, I'm AJ. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that episode of Turn by Turn, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next installment of Turn by Turn. And let us know what racetrack you want us to cover next in the comments below.